Hello and welcome. In this video, I will teach you how to make this 5 epic masking effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Just follow the steps in this tutorial and you should be able to create a similar masking effect like this one you are watching now. So let's see how to do this title animation. First, make a new color matte, and here I'm using white color for the bottom line. Add the color matte in the timeline. Then select the color mate and move over to the effect controls. Then uncheck the uniform scale. Here, I'm using the line height 2.5. Set the line width around 60. Then move 10 frames to the right side. Make a keyframe on the scale width. Move to the frist frame and set the scale width 0. Make the last keyframe ease in, so it will make the animation more smooth. Now let's add the text. Select the Type tool and type your text to the program window. Then select the Move tool and adjust the text position. Move the text layer beginning of the timeline. Then under the opacity, click on the rectangle icon. Then select the right two points, click on the bottom point, hold on shift, and drag it to the right side. Again, do the same thing for the left two points. Then move the mask at the bottom line until the text line disappears. Then enable inverted and use the mask. Feather 20. Move the time indicator to the first frame. Then move 10 frames to the right side and make a keyframe on the position and increase the position, Y value, until the text line disappears. Again, move 10 frames to the right and decrease the position Y value to the previous position. Then ease in the last keyframe to make it smooth and that's it for the end point. Now, let's make the point. I want to close this title in 3 seconds, so move the time indicator in 3 seconds and make another keyframe on the position. Then move 10 frames to the right. Then increase the position Y value until the text line completely disappears. Then select the bottom layer and make a keyframe on the scale width again. Move 10 frames to the right, then set the scale width 0, and that's it for the text reveal. The second one is cinematic text reveal. Now let's see how to do that. So first import your footage to the timeline, then select the type tool and type your text line to the program window. Then move over to the Essential Graphics tab and set the text if you want. Now adjust the text layer duration with your footage. Now select your footage and duplicate it to the top layer. Then select the top layer and move to the effect controls. Under the opacity, select the pen tool and draw a shape where you want to mask your text line. Now select the text layer, then make a keyframe on the position, move the text position to the bottom and few seconds forward and set the keyframe previous position. And make the last keyframe easy in and that's it. Let's see the preview. Also, you can change the blending mode from normal to overly, so it will look more smooth. If you need to speed up close the last keyframe on the position, now see the preview. The third one is sky replacement. So first, add your footage to the timeline. Duplicate this clip one track above. Hold on Alt button and drag it. Then add your sky footage between these two layers. Now move over to the effects tab and search for the color key. Apply this effect to the top layer. Then go to the Effect Controls tab and under the Color Key Effects, click on the Color Picker. Then increase the color tolerance until your original sky completely disappears. Then you'll see the bottom sky in here. As you can see, the watercolor is removed a little bit. So select the sky layer. Under the Opacity, select the Pen tool and draw a mask shape around your sky. And that's it. Let's see a quick preview. 
Now I'm going to apply a color preset so it'll look more natural. First nest at all layers, and here I'm using a red giant preset. And render the effect, now see the preview. The for the one is hide face identity. So in this clip, we need to hide our face. First move to the effects tab and search for Gaussian blur. Apply this effect to this clip. Now move to the effect controls. Then increase the blurriness around 50 and move to the first frame. Then create an ellipse mask under the Gaussian blur effect. Now adjust the mask with her face. Then use the Mask Path Auto Tracking tool, so it automatically track your mask hole video. Now see the preview. And the last one is a face color mask. It's very simple to use, but the result is good. Duplicate this clip, one track above. Hold on the Alt button and drag it. Now select the second layer, go to the Effect Control and draw a mask her face under the Opacity option and increase mask feather around 50 and adjust the color if you want. Now see the preview. Go to the first frame, then use the mask path auto tracking tool so it automatically track your mask hole video. Now see the final result. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching and I hope you a wonderful day.